Hello. Hello. What are we doing? We are in the middle of Halls Gap. It's bustling. It's bustling. It's Boxing Day, by the way, so we're very full of turkey and ham and pudding and all the good stuff. So we decided to come for a little walk and try and burn it all off. Burn off some of those. Oh, my fringe looks weird. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. The Grampians National Park is located about three hours west of Melbourne and is traditionally known as Gary Word. We've previously done a few videos in this area and I'll pop a link up in the corner for our last video showing you the Balconies Lookout, which had a little bit more information about the region. The Venus Baths in the Grampians is a popular waterway which boasts a wide variety of walking tracks and hiking trails. Nestled within the gorgeous Grampians mountain range, the Venus Baths is a picturesque area with a small freshwater lake and many unusual rock formations. Hence Venus Baths are considered a naturally formed water park which offers tranquil oasis as well as many activity options. Venus Baths was enjoyed as a bathing spot for ladies as far back as the early 20th century. The uppermost pool was originally referred to as Venus Bath and over time the lower pools have been included with the site's name. The baths are flanked by sloping sandstone walls on both sides and is located in a small river gorge. The baths are located at the end of a short, easy walk from the gate of the Botanical Gardens. The walk is an easy 2.3 km walk and is well signed the whole way. There is a circular route which can take you up one side of the river and return the other side, both starting and ending at about the same point just off the Halls Gap Caravan Park Reserve. If you have a wheelchair or pram with you, be best to go up and back on the side which begins on the Halls Gap Botanical Gardens, as this path was more flat, whilst the caravan park side gets slightly rocky and had some steps. In this video, we went up from the caravan park side and returned on the Botanical Garden side. So we used to come swimming here all the time as little kids, and the water gets really nice and warm from the sun, so it's actually not freezing cold for once. <laughs> Not like our, our water at home. Not like the St Kilda Beach. <laughs> this was a perfect walk for the days where you don't want to do anything too strenuous. But if you are keen for a bit more of a challenge, then you'll find that there's much more within the Grampians National Park, including some hikes that start on this trail and venture up the mountainsides. This walk is appropriate for people of all ages and abilities. Having said that, it's required that children are supervised for their safety around the water pools. It is free to visit the bars, as is the wider national park surrounding it. As we did this walk during the public holiday, where the weather was great, you can see that it's really busy at this time. But Betty tells me that she's never seen so many people here before. So if you're not here at peak time, expect to share the space with a few less people than this. There's no toilet facilities at baths, but there is at the cow park in town by the local pool where you begin the walk. So make sure that you're all set before you take off. Here you can also find playgrounds, barbecue facilities and fresh water, as well as a few stores, including the famous ice cream shop. Stay till the end of the video for a little taste of that. Hey Betty. Yeah. Guess what I spy? Sorry? Guess what I've spied? What? Fronds. Fronds. Favorite part about Halls Gap? Probably the ice cream. I've got apple crumble mm -hmm. and old English toffee. Taste of vision. Nom, 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 nom. 
Oh my god, yum. Perfect. Apple crumble. 